Okay, I want to just do a quick video on how to transfer a height on a job site. And what do I mean by that? I mean mainly mainly three things that I can think of off the top of my head. Number one, you can check elevations for uh, how level your slab is or how level your stakes are. You can also use this these functions to check how to, to transfer a benchmark height from one uh, one part of your wall to another part of your wall. You can also use this to check to make sure that your soffits or your drop down ceiling is at a, the correct elevation. There's a lot of reasons you might be using elevations on a job site and all these three applications for sure are going to help you basically with every single one of them. And I'm going to keep this simple because um, most of the time when you're working with heights you just have a benchmark height that you need to move around the job site and so just uh, give this a listen and let me know if it makes sense. So what I'm going to do, the first way that you can um, do height transfer is you can go to the application window and you see on here uh, the button that has the arrow pointing down and the arrow pointing up, this one right there. I'm going to tap it and what this is is basically a simple height transfer. It's asking me at the bottom left hand corner to measure a point. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my little menu on the right side so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just on my, uh, in, in like an office area right now. And I'm going to measure a, a wall with a, my laser. I'm looking at a drywall. So I'm going to press this measure button and I'm going to call it zero. So I'm going to press measure. And what the tool is doing is it's saving that as like my my benchmark zero. So now no matter where I move in my in my room that I'm at, like if I move the laser up or down of the wall, of the wall I'm looking at, it's telling me exactly how high off that zero mark that I moved it. One really nice feature about the high transfer application is if I were to measure a wall for instance so let's say that I'm measuring my zero on a wall you can very easily after you measure that go back to your joystick or your camera move it to another wall and I'll say check and I'll go ahead and wait for it and it's going to automatically move and adjust to go back to that zero right away so you see it's it was an inch or so off and now it went back to zero and I can even come up here and say I wanted to have it a, a negative one foot offset for instance say enter and the tool will do the same thing, move down to that negative one foot offset or whatever offset you put up here. So this is a very quick way to transfer points around your job, uh, especially if you're using the laser. If you're using the prism, it works just as fine um, to see how far on and off you are from a benchmark. Uh, but the laser obviously will automatically spin to that specific point on that wall. And one thing I'll add here is uh, sometimes you're going to get a failed to turn to point message. If you get that, I've noticed that if you just simply go back to the joystick, move it a second, just like move it up or down barely an inch, uh, that it will reset itself. And when you go back to the screen where it's uh, you see the benchmark height, it will start to turn to it again. So that's just a quick workaround I had on that end. Now let's go ahead and move on to the uh, second step, which is by using the missing line function. In the applications, you can see the uh, button that has the two walls with the dots on it and the arrows in between. It's called missing line. That's what I call it. And you see in the bottom left it says measure first point. So I'm going to go ahead and measure. I'm going to measure where I know my benchmark is. Again, I'm going to just measure a point on my wall just to give you an example. So I'm going to measure this point. I'm going to. I'm measuring my benchmark point. All right. What's fun about missing line is it basically does exactly what high transfer does, but it gives you more information as well. So I'm going to go say, okay, there's my first point. Now it says measure second point, but what missing line does is as I move the tool away from that first point, I'm going to just move it down the room a little bit. It tells me how far I moved it. So you see my HD is 10 feet, 8 and 5 sixteenths, and I have my, so I moved exactly like 10 feet away from that, that first point. Now my DH is my height differential. So I moved it up four inches from my original point. So now I can do the same thing like that I did in height transfer and just move that back down. You see how it's going down and moving it down. I'm trying to trying to do this quickly is while I'm talking it's kind of hard. But um, now I can kind of move the tool around and uh, get back, get that back down to zero. But at the same time I can look at other information. How far am I moving away from that first point? What's the slope of that first point, etc. So maybe you might use like using missing line better if you're just transferring one point around the room. Just make sure that your DH is zero no matter where you move it to. Third way I do this and this is my favorite way to do it and you'll see why in a second 
is I actually use missing line. Uh, sorry, not missing line. I use line layout. And again, this is on a blank project. So when I tap that, it says stations required. Well, what do you do? You don't have control points. What do you do? Well, just go to your home screen, go to stationing, and at the very bottom, you see the point that looks like that looks like uh, the circle underneath it, right there. I'm just trying to tap so you can see. I don't have my mouse with me, so I'm going to tap that one. And you see at the top it says new station created and it has these random high coordinates. I don't care about those coordinates. I just care that I'm stationed. I don't really care. So I'm going to say check. Now what I do care about though is that on that stationing I want to make sure that my benchmark height is correct. So I'm going to go ahead and go to stationing again. And all, all I'm going to do here is change my station height. And you can do that whenever you're stationed. You can come in here and under others you can press this button right here. Which is your station height button. I'm going to tap that go to my manual height right here my manual height and I'm gonna just remeasure with the laser my mark on the wall that has my benchmark height I'm gonna measure it call it zero yep so you can see right there at the top my BM height is zero and I'm gonna say my instrument height doesn't even matter because I'm not using my instrument to make my benchmark my benchmarks actually on the wall so I'm gonna say check and now, if I go to my draw panel, you'll see on the right side, my station height has changed to uh, be to indicate how high it is off, uh, compared to my benchmark. So I measured the height of zero on the wall, and my station was about five inches below that. No big deal. So you see how it's different from station one to station two. Alrighty. So now what I can do is I go to missing line. Sorry, line layout. And my station's there, and it says select a line or arc for reference. Right there, that's what it says, right? So what I'll do is I'll come over here, open my side window, and it's, because I don't have any lines, I'm going to create, you see how it says create right there? I'm going to create a line, and it's going to say select two points for the line, or in other words, I'm going to just measure two random points arbitrarily. So watch, I'm going to measure one point here, where I'm standing, and then I'm going to measure one other random point. I'm not... I'm going to measure one random point in this room. I don't care where the line is. What I do care about, though, is that it tells me the value of the height wherever I move. Okay. So let me go to measure. Let me go to. I'm going to. Ch so now that I created my line, I gave it two points, and you can't. Let me zoom out. So you can kind of see here that red line. That's the line that I measured. I don't care where that line is. What I do care about, though, is when I go to measure, I can tap this this points align button and it's going to automatically tell me where I'm looking at in relation to that line and just to be clear about what that points align value does is when it's checked it's going to gray out my ability to change manually the line offset and height values so I can just quickly turn the tool it's going to autofill exactly where it's looking at and if the height's off as long as it's looking at the wall I need to make the measurement on I can depress that points align value and then quickly the height value, I can change that to where I need it to turn on the wall and the tool will automatically turn to that location for me. And then if I need to move it again, recheck the points align button, move it, and then repeat that process. Now what do I care about? I care about that zero right here, the zero height. That's what I care about. If that's zero, I'm golden. I don't care about where I'm looking at on the line I don't care about my line, I don't care about my offset, I care about that what I'm looking at is zero. So watch, because my points align up here is selected, I can now move this around the room. I just moved it to another location. And no matter where I move it, it's going to auto-populate what I'm looking at. So you see how down here my height's changed? That's no big deal, because now once I'm in my spot that I want to make my mark on the wall, I can say, okay, I want to be there on the wall, but obviously I'm going to help the tool by tapping this box and saying, move me to my zero height. Say enter, and now the tool is going to automatically adjust. I don't know if you could hear clicking behind me. It's going to automatically adjust to that zero mark. And you can see here, it's zeroed in on the X, the Y, and the Z. And I can save that if I want to, mark it with my, on my tablet, mark it in the field. And say check to save it. Point staked, nice. And now what I'll do is I'll come back up here, press point to line, move it down the room a little bit and you'll see it automatically adjusted where it's looking at 
and uh, I need to change my height value again because obviously I'm not very good at moving exactly which is why the other two versions that I showed you of moving heights works but it's kind of complicated to always have to move it yourself now I can type in height zero zero check you can hear a click behind me to move to that exact height on that wall turn into point and boom I can now close this window wait for it to fix and now it's zeroed out and I can mark that save it whatever I want to do now what's funny about this one is that you can also still use this as I was using it before with the other two so I can keep this saved let me move it to another point in the room here you see it auto populates that height I technically can still manually move it up or down and you, here I'm moving it down you see how the height value is changing so that's uh, what that's doing now remember when you're using line layout absolute height and relative height are important to understand absolute height is telling you what your height is in relation to your benchmark height while your relative height is telling you what your height is in relation to whatever slope of the line you measured I could care less about my relative height in this case because I don't even know really where I measured my line I just measured a random line but I know exactly where I measured my benchmark height and I want that to be transferred perfectly around this entire room and so this is one way I can do it now what if you do now I'm not gonna go through this because I don't like, really have the conditions to use a prism here but I could go ahead and go to my prism menu and you see how I have my prism up here so what I can do now is I can use that prism and walk around the room and no matter where I walk it's going to be giving me the value of that height so to keep this basic you can use this to check the value of your concrete to make sure everything's level you can also use it to transfer heights all the way around the room to check uh, ceiling drop down ceilings everything I really I really hope this helped